Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hello, Janet. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hello, Hello teacher. Hello, Mariana. Hello. Good to see you. Hi. Hello, guys. Hello, Ivania. Okay, guys, let's start with the class. Um, let's take advantage of the time we have in this hour. So remember uh, the activities, right, that we have for today. Hola, hola. Uh, creo que estuve un poco. Please, right. Okay, there it is. So remember the activities. So we have the speaking activities, right? Uh, the task that we started yesterday, we're going to cover that part today. Que vamos a tratar de avanzar en esa parte in the speaking. But first, vamos a ver el tema uh, for this day that is going to be the simple present, right? A simple present. Usualmente, we use the simple present, right? Para actividades que nosotros hacemos a diario. Por ejemplo, yo me levanto a las cinco, yo me levanto a las seis, yo hago las tareas, etc. Ese es el present progressive. Por ejemplo, como les mencionaba, para hablar de routines. Así como, así como vamos a utilizar el present. Cosas de routines, right? Okay, vamos a ver entonces cómo formamos el presente progresivo. El presente, el simple present, sorry. And then vamos a completar la actividad de speaking. Los primeros 30 minutos vamos a tratar de avanzar en el tema y luego ustedes se quedan con las presentations. Ok, vamos a ver uh, this reading that it's about uh, how old people live in other countries. Let me ask you something, Janira. Let me ask you something. Um, is there uh, someone very old in your family? ¿Hay alguien que sea mayor in your family, Janira? Is there... Someone ah. very old? Oh, ahorita no lo entendí. <laughs> ¿Hay, alguien, ¿Hay alguien que sea mayor en su familia? ¿Is there ah. someone very old no. in your family? No. No, no. Grandpas, uh -huh. grandmas, no. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, my mother. Oh, your mama. Uh -huh. Yeah, your mother, right? My mother, um, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, uncles. Oh, the uncles. Okay. How mm -hmm. old is your mother? ¿Cuántos años tiene su mamá? How old? Uh, my mother is 29 years mm -hmm. old. Oh, your mother? Yes. 29 years old? Yes. 29? Ah, no, 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 <laughs> 79. Sorry. Okay, okay. I 79. was just trying the, the math. Estaba haciendo la math, pero okay. I know. <laughs> okay, okay, Janira, no problem. She is 79 years old. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you, Janira. Okay, what about uh, you? What about uh, you, uh, Guadalupe? Is there someone very old in your family? Hay alguien que sea mayor in your family? Yes, my father and my mother. Oh, how old are they? ¿Cuántos años? How old? Uh, my father, uh, how old is 20, mm -hmm. no, 83. 83 years uh, old. No, 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 no. <laughs> 73. 73, okay. And that 70. is your father and your mother? My mother is hmm? 64. Okay, your mother is 64. Okay, we have to take care, right? No, of... 64. Oh, 64, okay, thank you. Okay, vamos a ver, we're going to read this article y vamos a encontrar new words, maybe, right? Tenemos... Uh, La, la palabra find, right? Find, que es encontrar, find, find. Tenemos la palabra live, el verbo live, que es vivir. Tenemos también el verbo to be, right? El verbo to be. Then we have el verbo shows, or show, que significa muestra. Eh, también tenemos... Estos verbos, por ejemplo, el spend, es como pasar tiempo, right? Spend time. Okay, then we have feel, 
feel, que es el verbo sentir. Ok, let's have a look of this uh, reading and then we discuss some questions. Can you help me with the first paragraph? Uh, Alberto, can you help me with the first paragraph? Along a healthy life on the Japan Isla of Okinawa, many people live to the over 100 years old. Researchers find this in several places around in the world, including Sardinia, Italy, Icaria, Brazil, the Nicoya Peninsula of Costa Rica, and Doma Linda, California. Why do you people is this our life so long? The answer is lifestyle. This is shows six lifestyle habits that are common in this place. Okay, as you can see, uh, there is a question here about why do people live a lot? ¿Cuántos años vive una persona promedio here in El Salvador? How old can we live, for example, in El Salvador? ¿Cuál es la edad? What is the age? Is it 85. 60, 85, right? 15 years old. 15 years old. Mm -hmm. The man, 16, 16 mm -hmm. years old. And the okay. woman, mm -hmm. 7, 17 years old. Okay, for men, they live 60 years old, and for women, more or less, okay, women. 70. Okay, that is 70. very, very no. different, right? No, yeah. no, Janita, what do you think? No, <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so as you can see, the paragraph talks about that, for example, in Japanese culture, they live. 100 years old. Ellos viven 100 años in Japan. ¿Por qué? ¿A qué se debe esto? Okay, principalmente son los estilos de vida, right? They have the lifestyles. Vamos a ver qué es lo que ellos hacen to live a lot. Do you want to live a lot, guys? ¿Cuántos años queremos vivir? Or do you wish you can live? What about you, Gabriela? How old do you want to get? ¿Cuántos años? Like 60, 70. So who knows, right? Maybe. 100. 80, 80, 80. years old. 80. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look of this. Can you help me, Eden Nilsson, with the list, please, Eden Nilsson, number one? People in these areas move around a lot. They don't exercise in a gym, but they walk a lot of during the day. They use their bodies and live actively. Actively, okay. Imagine, actively. okay. Imagine that they don't do a lot of exercise. Instead, they walk, they use their bodies, right? Actively. Ahora con la tecnología, it's very hard, right? To stay active because we are just in the computers, just maybe we just go to the bathroom. Pero these persons, ellas eh, están en mucho movimiento, right? Move around and they have an active life. So, can you help me with number two, Ivania? They have? They have a purpose in their lives. Some spend time with grandchildren. Others do gardening or volunteer work. Okay, yes, right. Another lifestyle they have, ellos tienen un propósito, right? A purpose in their lives. Ellos pasan mucho tiempo con sus nietos, right? Otros hacen la parte de, uh, de gardening, right? The plants. O también volunteer, trabajo voluntario, voluntario, right? So that is interesting. Maybe cuando nos jubilemos, we don't know what we are going to do. But that's a good option. Okay, Ruth, can you help me with number three? They relax. Hello, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Every day, mm -hmm. they take 
time uh, to rest and relax. We will play rarely feel stress. Okay, they rarely feel stress, stress right? Stress. Very good. Okay, thank you. Si nos fijamos, ellos se relajan mucho. They take time to rest. Toman tiempo para descansar and uh, relax, right? Uh, they rarely, raramente, uh, se sienten estresados, right? Maybe because of the age, they feel more relaxed. Okay, thank you, Ruth. Can you help me with the next one? Um, let's see, Gustavo, please, number four. They eat, they eat lots of vegetables and they usually don't eat meat. Okay, imagine lo que hacen los Japanese people y es por eso que tienen que viven tanto. Por las eh, forma en que ellos comen, lo que ellos comen. They eat lots of vegetables and they don't usually eat meat, right? No comen mucha carne. Okay, that is, do you eat uh, more vegetables Gustavo, or more eat? More eat. More meat, right? <laughs> yes, like <laughs> most of us. Okay, what about you, Jorge? Uh, can you help me with number five, Jorge, please? Number five. They have? They have many friends. They are part of the an active social group. Okay, that is another way, right? Tienen muchos amigos. They have many friends. They are part of an active social group, right? Ellos están active, right? With a social group. And the last one, uh, can you help me, uh, Carlos? The last one. Mm -hmm. They feel close to their families. Okay, they feel close to their families. Uh, um, when we are not close to our families, we can get um, like alone, right? Or with loneliness. What do you think about this reading, Ivania? What do you think about this reading? Do you like it? Or is it interesting? Or would you apply the... Mm -hmm. It's Sorry. interesting. Why? Do you do you do any of the steps? Usted hace no. <laughs> um, what about your family? Uh, exercise maybe? Or eating vegetables? Do you do any? Um, <laughs> um, so, so. <laughs> so, so not too much or a lot, not too much. Not too much, okay. Okay, very good. That's, that's, the, that's the point, right, that we learn through these readings. Okay, so tenemos entonces acá los verbos. Estos verbos que están acá, in bold, son los que nos indican el simple present. Entonces vamos a ver how can we construct, how can we form that simple present, okay? So let's have a look of these verbs. Vamos a ver estos verbos. Uh, tenemos drive. When we are driving cars, tenemos el verbo walk. Tenemos el verbo take the bus, take the bus. Tenemos en este caso take the subway. Here we don't have subways, right? But uh, in the US or in other countries, in European countries, you can find the subway. Then we have take the train, ride a bike, take a taxi or a cab and ride a motorcycle. Which way or what are some other, or which way do you get to your work? qué forma llegamos al trabajo? What about uh, you, Jorge? Which way do you drive? Do you walk? What, what do you weigh? What do you get? How do you get to work? Actually, in motorcycle. <laughs> oh, do you, do you drive? Do you ride a motorcycle? No, my friends have the motorcycle. Oh, your friends have the motorcycle, okay. Yeah. It is, it's not dangerous, isn't it dangerous? No, it's peligroso. It's a dangerous, it's, <laughs> it's a ben, adventure. It's an but, adventure. But okay. <laughs> it's necessary. It's necessary, <laughs> yes, like right. The, yes, the gas is so expensive. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, that's right, completely agree. 
Okay, what about uh, you, Lorena? Uh, how do you get to your work? ¿Cómo llegamos al trabajo? You, do you drive? You walk? How do you get to work? I am in, in car, pero no conduzco. <laughs> you don't drive. <laughs> okay, how, it's much better, right? How do you get to work? Okay, uh, Ivan, Lorena says that she, uh, she is in the car, but she doesn't. Okay. 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 Thank you, Lorena. Okay. <laughs> okay, that is part of some of the verbs, right? Tenemos cuando es bike, vamos a utilizar ride. Cuando es motorcycle, vamos a utilizar ride too. Okay, questions about the, these verbs? Miss, mm -hmm. cuando pide ride. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me look Miss for ride. it. <laughs> Give me a ride. <laughs> Let me look for it. There is, there must be a word for that, but let me look for that. Okay, let's continue. Teacher, on, only mm -hmm. señas. <laughs> only signs, signs, only right? Signs. <laughs> Miss. Yes. The, the subway is is a the say a uh, train. Um, the, remember that. The son, of, son of panes, Carlos. Son of panes. <laughs> uh, the uh, ones campia. that are under, los que están debajo, right? The subway. Uh, and the train are the ones that you can see right on. Okay, Other the place in the world using tranvia. Oh, tranvia. Yeah, I haven't yes. seen them. In California and San mm -hmm. Francisco, for the other country, it is a tranvia because it, I don't understand. Is it the same as subway? The subway is a, a train. It's under, right? Subway, yeah. it's under, and the train, it's, okay. it's on, right? Okay. okay the train via. Okay. Okay, hey, th those are some of the ways, right? We can transport. Okay, let's continue and uh, let's have this conversation. Uh, we're going to practice this part, but first, vamos a escuchar the pronunciation. Y luego ustedes me ayudan to read the dialogue. Okay, can you, uh, let's see. Let's see who is here. Okay. Okay, Samuel, can you... Ok, vamos a escuchar primero a Samuel y luego usted va a leer de, de Dialogue, ok? Co junto con, veamos, Alberto. Let's listen y luego ustedes... Eh, con... No, I'm sorry. Vamos a escuchar primero a Samuel y luego vamos a leer el Dialogue, ok? Ok, todo okay. sería... Se va a ser Ashley, Alberto será Jason. Ah, ok. Vale. Page 36, Exercise 2. Conversation. Nice car. Listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job, and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown. But they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Okay, Samuel and Alberto, let's get started, please. Samuel, you are Ashley? Your microphone, Samuel? Hola, hola. Yes. A uh, nice car. Jason, is 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 your? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her phone her in the hall? Is her her in the sub suburbs? Mm -hmm. No, it's in the downtown. And my parents work. Don't don't town and both they don't drive the work to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train. If the train don't stop near all house, so they taking the bus or bus. 
Okay, thank you. So let's uh, let's verify the words, right? Tenemos algunas palabras acá. Sería yours, yours. Tenemos también job, right? Job. Tenemos la palabra the suburbs, right? Que son en las afueras, the suburbs. Tenemos la palabra downtown, que es, es en la ciudad, downtown. Eh, tenemos public, right? The public transportations. Public transportations. Tenemos, then we have the word doesn't. Vamos a ver esta palabra a lot, doesn't. Okay, is there any question about uh, the words, right, we have here? No questions? No, okay. Lo podemos escuchar una vez más. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Let's listen. Okay. Page 36, exercise two, conversation. Nice car. Listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Okay, so there it is. Questions about any word or pronunciation? No? Okay, so let's continue and uh, Page 30. let's practice uh, the vocabulary section, right? Tenemos entonces this part of the family and we have the possessives too, right? Okay, tenemos an is Paul's wife, right? So we have an, que es la esposa de Paul, right? So we have Jason and Emily. ¿Qué serían Jason and Emily? ¿Qué serían? ¿Son sus? Oh. ¿Qué? ¿Qué son? ¿Serían sus? Oh. Are they sons? Okay, oh. serían sus hijos, hijos right? Children. 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 Uh. Okay. Children. It's not correct to say uh. sons. Miss. Son, oh, uh, son es solo para, para chicos, right? Sons. En el caso que solo tengan yes. dos hijos, sons. Pero como es una girl y un boy, sería children. Okay, so what about Paul is and what? Paul, Paul is husband. husband, right? Husband. 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 Okay, what Jason. about Jason is and Jason? Jason, here is Jason. ¿Qué sería de and? Right. Son. Son. Yes, okay. right. Sería el hijo. El hijo de and. Um. What about Emily? Daughter. It's the daughter, 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 right? Sería la no, hija, hija, daughter, daughter. Jason. Jason is, is Emily's brother. 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 brother, muy bien. Sería el hermano de Emily. What about Emily is Jason's sister? Sister, right? Sister. And Paul and are, are Jason's? Parents. parents, right? Yeah. Uh, parents. Parents, okay. Son los papás de, de Anne and Paul, right? Okay, Paul and Anne are Jason's parents. Okay, Jason's parents. Okay, let's listen. Para, let's check if this is correct and check also the pronunciation. Page 37, exercise 3. Word power. Family. Part A, pair work. Complete the sentences about the Carter family. Then listen and check your answers. One. Anne is Paul's wife. Two. Jason and Emily are their children. Three. Paul is Anne's husband. Four. Jason is Anne's son. Five. 
Emily is Paul's daughter. Six. Jason is Emily's brother. Seven. Emily is Jason's sister. Eight. Paul and Anne are Jason's parents. Okay, there you see the, the words, right? The words. Tenemos también los plurales, right? Kids is the same as children. Mom or mother, it's the same, right? Dad or father, the same uh, meaning. También hay otros. Está daddy también. Está da oh, well, dad is here, but daddy también, you can use that too. Oh, mommy too, mm -hmm. I heard. Siblings, okay, that is part of the family tree, right? Okay, so uh, let's move on. Vamos entonces to continue. This is the vocabulary that we are going to use today. Later on, vamos a compartir más words, right, about the family tree. Okay, so let's continue and uh, remember Page that we have the, the presentations. Okay, vamos a tener siempre las presentations in the last 20 minutes, but first let's check the grammar. Okay, entonces estamos with the simple present, right? ¿Cómo lo formamos? Lo formamos siempre utilizando using the subject, right? And the verb. And the verb, we don't add anything. No vamos a agregar nada. Excepto si estamos hablando de he, she, o it. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo work. Cuando estamos hablando de él o de ella, vamos a agregarle ese al verbo. He works near here. Él trabaja cerca. Pero si estamos utilizando, por ejemplo, I, you, we y they, no vamos a agregarle nada al verbo en oraciones afirmativas. Por ejemplo, si yo digo eh, Mary y tengo el verbo cook, ¿tengo que agregarle la S o no? ¿Tengo que agregarle la, la S a este verbo? Uh -huh. Do I have to add it? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes, yes, right. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy hablando de cheer. Yes. yes. ¿Qué pasa si estoy hablando de Mary and my sister? Digamos que no. utilizo el mismo verbo. ¿Tengo que agregarle la S? No. No, no right. We don't Because add. Because it's they. Yes, right. Entonces, the point here is that we are using he, she, or it, we have to add the letter S. Esa es la regla que no nos puede faltar. No sé si hay dudas about the affirmative sentences. No sé si hay dudas. Questions? Ahorita estamos con las affirmative. No? Okay. No. Okay. Entonces, ¿qué pasa cuando tenemos las negativas? Cuando tengamos las negativas, vamos a utilizar don't o doesn't. El don't lo vamos a utilizar cuando tengamos I, you, we y they. Y cuando tengamos el doesn't, vamos a utilizar he en she y no le vamos a agregar nada al verbo. He doesn't work, él no trabaja. Pero si yo estoy utilizando you, you don't work. No sé si hay dudas with the negatives, con las negativas. Questions? It doesn't. It is the doesn't, yes. It is doesn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. No questions? Okay, let's try uh, this sentence. What about if I have my friends? Y tengo el verbo uh, go. Tengo el verbo go. Y la quiero hacer en negativa. ¿Qué debo utilizar? Don't or doesn't? Doesn't. Don't. Don't. Sería, uh -huh, sería don't, ¿verdad? Or do not. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy hablando en plural. Y una clave también uh -huh. es cuando estemos hablando en plural, vamos a utilizar el don't o el do not. Don't go to church, digamos, church. ¿Ok? Eh, si tengo, por ejemplo, my teacher, y tengo el verbo, let's see, read, Read a book. ¿Estará bien esa oración? Is that sentence correct? 
No. What is the mistake? What is the mistake? Uh, it's red. Yes, right. We have to add the letter S to the read. verb read. Okay, nos quedaría reads. Ahora, si lo quiero hacer en negativa, my teacher. ¿Cómo puedo hacer esa oración en negativa? My teacher reads a book. No. Doesn't nos... read. Doesn't. Yes, sería. Doesn't read. Yes, doesn't. Me disculpan por el apostrofe, pero no he configurado el teclado. Uh, my teacher doesn't read a book. ¿Estará bien? No. Okay? no, no. What is the mistake? What, what is the mistake? La what is it? Doesn't yes. Read, yes. Read, doesn't read a book. Doesn't read a books, right? I tengo que otra S. I'm going to take it. Okay, no sé si hay dudas. Questions about affirmatives and negatives? No questions? Okay, good, guys. Entonces, don't forget that tenemos la contraction, right? Tenemos don't and do not. Doesn't and does not. Mm -hmm. yes. Y en el caso, digamos, doesn't, realmente sí se le está agregando la S en tercera persona, pero el auxiliar do es el que lo absorbe. Exactly, yes. Oh. You said it perfectly. Ahí lo dijo, your answer. Por eso es que no le agregamos la S al verbo, right? As you said it. Mm -hmm. Okay, no questions? No Solo, solo a ver si entiendo. En las afirmativas, para he, she, se le agrega la S. La S, yes. Y en las yes. negativas, es doesn't. Doesn't. Exacto, sin la S en el verbo. Okay. ok. Solo recordemos que por el momento solo vamos a, a ver la, cuando le agregamos la S al verbo. Pero hay otros casos donde se les agrega ES. Vamos a ver eso más adelante o donde cambia la estructura del verbo. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Ok, so let's move on to uh, some exercise, right? Vamos a practicar some exercise. Y acá tenemos more information. Ok, lo que les estaba diciendo, right? Que le agregamos la S. Y este es un ejemplo uh, de cuando cambiamos. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo study. Lo vamos a cambiar la Y. Por I y S. Yes. Uh -huh. Tenemos watch y le vamos a agregar ES. Es por la terminación que le agregamos ES. Como les decía, vamos a ver estos más adelante with the rules, because there are more rules. But now we are going to practice with the information we have. Okay, guys. So what we are going to do is that we are going to work these activities mientras ustedes completan los siguientes exercises, right? Vamos a completar este, then this information, mientras ustedes participan with the speaking activity. Ok, eh, who is ready to present, right? Recordemos que ayer quedamos pendientes with the presentations about uh, the topic that we were discussing yesterday. Who wants to present first? Mientras sus compañeros presentan, you are going to be working in this exercise. Who is ready, guys? Everybody's going to present today. So let me know, or I can choose you. Tengo el primer grupo que es. Let's see. Vamos de. Se lo escucha cortado. Oh, perdón, perdón. Okay, vamos a practicar ahora the speaking. Vamos a hacer el speaking mientras ustedes trabajan in the in the exercise. Okay. Okay. So who is ready? Who is going to be first? Yes, volunteers, or do you want me to choose you guys? Okay, so I'm gonna choose then. Vamos a empezar entonces con el primer grupo que es Jorge and Josué. Are you there, guys? Hello, Jorge and Josué. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, estamos listos. Are you ready with information? Remember the diagram. Ready. Okay, so let's project. I'm gonna project here. Josue, no, no. Okay, let's go. You can present, guys. Okay. Josue is a. Hello. 
the hi John. Where are you? You were in, in class yesterday. Oh, I'm relaxed right now. Great. Hello. It is a place I know, or it is a no place. I like to to unusual spot. It's breathtaking beach, in my opinion. Is your part? Jose. Hola, hola, se escucha cortado. San, San. Hola, hola. Hola. Escucha. Hola, hola, Josué. Sí, se escucha, Josué. Ok. Eh, yes, I am sitting on the beach right now. The of the ocean is very tacky. It is beautiful what's a great way to get away from school and work yes i come really relaxed i read uh, and rest every day in fact i wait i sleep before you call oh i am so sorry have a great vac vacation thanks see you next week Bye. Okay, thank you, Jorge and Jose. Let's uh, just verify this one. I am on vacation, right? Vacation, vacation. And then we have uh, a sleep, right? I was asleep. Okay, very good, guys. So let's let me give me just your opinion about the following questions. Quiero escuchar your responses, Jose and Jorge. Okay, Jose, uh, where do you like to get away? Do you like to go known or unknown places? Explain. What can you tell me about that, Josué? Mm -hmm. um, ¿A dónde le gusta irse when you get away? Para relajarse from the city, for example. What are some places? Is, sería, is beach. Oh, I like, okay. I like, I like to go <laughs> to the beach, okay. Mm -hmm. Ese es un lugar para places known or unknown places. What do you like? ¿Qué es lo que le gusta? What do you like? Mm -hmm. um, el... Lugares que sean eh, famosos o conocidos o desconocidos, unknown places. What do you like? Mm. Known places, por ejemplo. Lugares conocidos. Do you like known places? Yes? Or mm. no? Mm, no. You, you like, entonces nos gustan los lugares unknown, right? unknown places. Okay, thank you, Jose. Okay, what about uh, you, Jorge? Do you like to go secluded spots or do you prefer popular spots and why? Mm -hmm. Do you like I to like, go to? I like go to the secluded spots. Why? Tell me why. Because uh, we know the others, the others place, spot, mm -hmm. and go to with my family. Uh, I know the other people. Yes, right. You like secluded spots, right? Because you can stay with your family. Okay, George. Thank you. Let's continue with the next group that is Lorena and Samuel. Ready, guys? I'm sorry. I'm Oops. sorry. <laughs> okay. Sammy, listo? Yeah. Hello. Hi, John. Where are you? 
you were in class yesterday? Oh, I am on vacation right now. Ah, great. Is it a place and not or is a um, not place? I like to go in a show, secure. It's a relaxed dish. In my opinion, the favorite people, the better. That so nice, nice, nice. Ah. Yes, I am sitting on the beach right now. The view of the ocean is breathing. Uh, what a great way to get forward from school and work. Yes, I can relax. Re I can uh, relax really. I read and rest every day. In fact, I was asleep before you girl. Oh, I am sorry. We had on the great vacation. Thank. See you next week. Okay, Samuel. Thank you. And Lorena, let me just ask you these questions, Lorena. Tell about a break, a brief taking spot in your country. Is it an unusual or a popular vacation spot? Do you know a place, Lorena, que sea breathtaking spot? Uh, como un lugar impresionante para yes. él. Mm -hmm. For you, for you, oh. de nuestro país, right, of our country. Mm -hmm. Uh, is visit. Uh, el problema es que él visita mucho su ciudad de Ataco. Is visit Ataco. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ataco. Uh, uh, according break, to you. Breaking. Okay, Ataco. Entonces usted dice que Ataco is a brief, breathing. breathtaking spot. Mm -hmm. Spot in our country, right? Okay, is, is it unusual or popular spot? Mm. Sería popular. un lugar unusual o sería un lugar popular? Popular. Okay, it is, entonces, it is a popular. Okay, thank you, Lorena. Okay, okay. what about you, Samuel? Where do you like to get away? Do you like to go to known or unknown places? Explain. Um, um, she's, no, it's Lorena, uh, like visit, um, no, uh, no, un con, mm -hmm. inusuales, inusuales, please. Oh, she likes unusual places. Mm -hmm. And what about you? Y, y usted, Samuel, where do you like uh, to get away? ¿A dónde le gusta irse para eh, alejarse de la ciudad, por ejemplo? Uh, the visit a uh, city Ataco, of Ataco. Ataco, do you like Ataco too? ¿A usted yes. le gusta Ataco? Ah, ok, why? ¿Por qué le gusta? Why do you uh, like Ataco? My family is from Ataco. Uh -huh. okay, my family is from Attack. Okay, that's a great place to live. Okay, thank you, Samuel. Okay, so let's continue with the next partner, with the next couple that is Alberto and Elenilson Avila. Are you ready, guys? No nos olvidemos de terminar the exercise, okay? Yes, we are okay. ready. Okay, let's go, guys, please. All right. Uh, okay. Hello. Hi, John. Where are you? You weren't in class yesterday. Oh, I am on vacation right now. Uh, great. Is it the place in now or is it an unknown place? Uh, I like to go to initial spot. Is a secluded, uh, secluded uh, beach, in my opinion, uh, opinion, the fewer people, the better. That's so nice. Yes, I am sit sitting on the beach right now. The view of the ocean is 
breathtaking. It is so beautiful. What a great way to get away from school and work. Yes, I can really relax. I read and rest every day. In fact, I was asleep before you called. Oh, I'm sorry. Have a great vac vacation. Thanks. See you next week. Okay, guys. Very good. Just uh, the word in this one, it is vacation, right? Vacation, vacation. Vacation. Okay, um, and then we have uh, view, right? Tenemos view, view, view. And then we have ocean, the ocean. Okay, very good, guys. Let me ask you the next part. Okay, let's see, Alberto, in the conversation in exercise A, John says, in my opinion, the fewer people, the better. Do you agree? Um. Mm, yes, I do because I think it's better a place uh, without secluded, uh -huh. or without too, right? With, or secluded, without, uh -huh. mm -hmm. because it's more it's more relaxed. It is more relaxed, right? Excellent response. Tenemos la palabra without, que significa without. sin, verdad? Mm -hmm. Seeing personas without persons completely agree with you, right? Uh, the, the less, the fewer people, the better, right? Without okay, and secluded too, right? Okay, what about you, Ellen Nilsson? And uh, do you where do you like to get away? A donde le gusta irse, right? When you get away, uh, do you like to go to known or unknown places? Ellen Nilsson, chato. Mm -hmm. le gusta irse? Where would you like where do you like to get away? <laughs> the place is unusual unusual uh, mm -hmm. the beach. The beach, okay, okay. Okay, the beach. Is it far or near to your home? Está cerca o lejos de su casa? Is it far um, or, or close? Cerca, ¿cómo es cerca? Close. Close. Parece que ya lo conocen donde usted se va, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool, Elison. Thank you. So let's continue with the next group that is, let's see, let me just check. It is Carlos mm -hmm. and Rita. Are you ready, guys? Carlos and Rita? For me, no problem. Okay. Rita. And Rita, let me know. Rita. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do something. Okay, okay, Rita. Okay, got it, got it. So let's do something. A, Carlos, you are going to be A and I'm going to be B. Okay, and then I'm going to ask you the questions. Okay, let's start, Carlos, please. Okay, hello. Hi, John. Hi. Where, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be. Okay, where's the B and you're going to be A. Okay, Carlos? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, hi, John. Hello. What are you? Uh, you weren't in class yesterday. Oh, I am on vacation right now. Great. Is it a place I know or is it an unknown place? I like to go uh, to you in Ushal, a spot, uh, it's spot, uh, it's a secluded beach and I, in my opinion. Uh, the fewer people, the better. That sounds nice. Yes, I am sitting on, on the beach right now. The view of the ocean is break, breathtaking. It's uh, beautiful. What a great, what a great way to get away from school and work. Yes, I can really relax and read and rest every day. In fact, I always sleep in before you call. Oh, I'm sorry. Have a great vacation. Thank you. See you the next weekend. Okay, perfect, Carlos. Thank you so much. Very good. So uh, let me ask you this. Um, what, what do you think about this quote? In my opinion, the fewer people, the better. Do you agree? Is that uh, acuerdo or not? Do you agree or disagree? 
Yes, I agree. Why? Tell me. Because uh, few people is the better because uh, how do you say disfrutar enjoy enjoy enjoy, enjoy yes the mm -hmm. the beach um, the mountain yes uh, is uh, see the the how do you say naturaleza the nature right the nation right mm -hmm. um, uh, the place is enjoys um, the cultural the gastronomy. Yeah. Uh, yes. It's better, right? The fewer people, the better. Entre menos yeah. personas, es mejor, right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Carlos. So let's continue with, uh, maybe Rita can do it maybe this week, or if not, we can try it in another time. Let's go with group Alberto and partner. Alberto, who is your well, partner, Alberto? No, ya pasé. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just reading another thing. Okay, so I have Guadalupe and Gabriela. Are you ready, ladies? No se olvidemos de hacer the exercise, right? Yes. Okay, let's go, please. Uh, hello. Hi, John. We are two. You weren't in class yesterday. Oh, I am on vaca vacation right now. This is a place I know, or is it an unknown place? I like to go to unusual spot. It's a secluded beach. In my opinion, the fewer people, the better. That's so nice. Uh, yes, I am sitting on the beach right now. Uh, the view of the ocean is breathtaking. It is so beautiful. What a great way to get, out, get away from school and work. Uh, yes, I can really relax. I read and rest every day. I, in fact, I was asleep before your call. Oh, I'm so sorry. Have a great vacation. Thanks. See you next week. No le escucho, teacher. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yo estaba pensando que estaba hablando and I was muted by myself. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I was just, uh, just the, the pronunciation, the view, right? So le damos view, la vista, view, view. Okay. And uh, then we have, uh, then we have in fact, in fact, in fact. Luego tenemos la palabra vacation, right? Vacation vacation okay ladies let me just ask you this let's see uh, Gabriela um, tell me about a breathtaking spot in your country is it unusual or a popular place or for vacations let's say number two mm, this week I see in Facebook Facebook or Instagram I spot in the view is beautiful. The name is Hotel uh, Finca Campo Bello, and it's located in Cerro Verde. Cerro I, Verde. Think, uh -huh, I think that is, it is an unusual vacation, va vacation, sorry, a spot. Yes, right, perfect. I would like to go to Cerro Verde, it has beautiful places and a great or a spectacular view. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. I'm gonna add it to my agenda, that place. Okay. What about uh, you, Guadalupe? Uh, where do you like to get away? Do you, do you like to go to known or unknown places? I like to get away to unknown place mm -hmm. because 
I my opinion the fewer people uh, the better. The fewer. You said every, everything, right? Usted lo dijo todo. Entre menos personas, the fewer people, the better. Okay, thank you, Guadalupe. Okay, let's continue with this the uh, group that it is Eden Nilsson, Gustavo, and Ruth. Are you ready, guys? Are you there? Hello, no? It's not here. Ayer pasamos, oh. teacher. Oh, you're presenting, Ayer yes. Ayer pasamos, pero podemos pasar otra vez. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Let's just discuss the questions. Creo que la parte okay. de las preguntas son las que nos quedamos pendientes en su grupo. Okay, let's see. Uh, Gustavo, tell me, uh, what do you think about the fewer people, the better? Do you agree or disagree, Gustavo? What is the question? This one, number three. Creo uh -huh. que solo okay. faltó in your group. What do um, you think? Yes. Um, in my opinion, is do do it do the social distancing of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I agree. You agree because of the pandemic, right? Yes. You, yes, I am agree, right? Or I agree. I agree because of the COVID group too, right? Yes. Of the COVID or the pandemic. Yes. The same question, uh, Ruth. Uh, what do you think about the fewer people, the better? <laughs> mm. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, Ruth? Quiere mm. decir, perdón. I'm sorry, perdón. I'm sorry, Ruth. ¿Qué, I didn't... ¿Qué dice? Ok, en la tercera, ¿qué es lo que usted, usted está de acuerdo? Do you agree en la expression the fewer people, the better? ¿Está de acuerdo? Or you are not agree? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes, I am. I agree. Yes, I am. I, I, I agree. Okay, yes, I agree, right? Okay, that's good, okay. right? Okay, thank you, Ruth. Uh, what about you, Eden Nilsson? The same question. Hello, Eden Nilsson? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, tell me why. I agree. Why? Uh, sometimes you you prefer fewer people because it's, uh, most people are dangerous. Yes, right. When there are when there are a lot of people, people, it is dangerous, right? It is dangerous. Yes, that's right. When there are a lot. Before, in the past, we don't care about that, but now we do care. Okay, and the last group, we have Glenda, Ivania, and Janira. Are you ready, ladies? Yes. Okay, yes. let's present, please. Let's present. Glenda. Okay, hello. Hi, John. Where are you? You weren't in class yesterday. Oh, I on vacation right now. Great, it's a place I know or is an unknown place. I like to go to an unusual spot. It is a secluded beach. In my opinion, the fewer people, the better. That so nice. sounds nice. Yes, I am sitting on the beach right now. The view of the ocean is breaking, taking. It's, it's so beautiful. What a great way to get away from school and work. Yes, I can really relax. I read and rest every day. In fact, I was asleep before you call. Oh, I am so sorry. Hey, have a great vacation. Thanks. 
see you next week. Okay, perfect, see ladies. Later. See you later. And yes, see you later, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. 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 bye, bye. <laughs> okay, guys, I vamos a terminar. We're going to stop here. Thank you so much for coming, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember, this is last week, so take advantage of the time. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.